Good evening. Two more quick quizzes from this little quiz book. And we're going to look at Irish writers. And we're going to look at a challenging set of quiz questions on Irish writers. Number one. What is the real name of the author of The Big Fellow? Number two. What was the first novel of the volume of of Inspirations? Number three. At which university outside Ireland did Sean O'Fallon study? Number four. Which memorial prize did Liam O'Flaherty's third novel win in 1920? Number five, Padder O'Donnell earned his honorary degree from the National University of Ireland when a similar honour was bestowed on whom? Number six, what did Emer Alton O'Brien train to become? Number seven, where was Mary Lavin's first short story? See, short story uh, published. Number eight. Where were Frank O'Connor's short stories published between 1945 and 1951? Number nine. What citizenship did the author of Black Robe take up after World War II? Number 10, who founded the Dublin Verse Speaking Society? We're at the halfway point of 20 questions on number 10, and I'm going to give you the first 10 answers before I go on to the second set of questions. The real name of the author of The Big Fellow, number one, the real name of the author of The Big Fellow was Michael O'Donnell. Number two, the first novel of the volume of poems and directions was James Stevens. Number three, the university outside Ireland that Sean of Whelan studied. Number four. The Memorial Prize, the name of Flaherty's third novel, won in 1926, was the James Tate Black Memorial Prize. Number five. Adder O'Donnell burned his honorary degree from the National University of Ireland their honour was bestowed on Ronald Reagan. Pat O'Donnell was a writer, a poet, a publisher, a journalist, but he was also a devoted socialist and bestowing a similar honour on Ronald Reagan obviously rankled greatly. Number six, Emer Alton Duffy trained to become a dentist. Number seven. Mary Lavin's first short story was published in the Dublin magazine. Number eight. Franco Connor's short story, The Great Franco Connor, Guests of the Nation. Franco Connor's short stories were published between 1945 and 1960. The New Yorker. The citizenship that the author of the Black Robe took up after World War II was Canadian citizenship. His name was Moore. That was number nine. Number ten. The Dublin Verse. The Dublin Verse speaking. 
by Austin. Now, the next 10. Number 11. Who was sacked for working in a school after The Dark published? Number 12. The Public Life of Parable Jones was written by the brother of which writer? Number 13. The author of The Glass Link studied what at university? Number 14. Heaney's The Cure at Troy is a version of which work by Sophocles? Number 15. Which co-founder of the Irish Writers' Cooperative wrote Night in Tunisia? Number 16. Which movie told the story of the author of Dam Burst Dreams? Number 17. Which Sean of Whelan biography is about the second Earl of Tyrone? Number 18. What was the second of Roddy Doyle's Barry Tune trilogy? Number 19. John Banville's The Untouchable was about which traitor? Number 20. Where in Paris did Samuel Beckett lecture in English? Now, let's go to the number 11. John McGahern was sacked from working in a school after the dark was published. Number 12. The public life of, the parable of Parable Jones was written by the brother of Brendan Behan. Number 13. The author of The Glass Lake studied history at university. Number 14, Heaney's The Cure at Troy was a version of Philoctetes by the great Sophocles. Number um, Number 15, Number 15, the Neil Jordan, who is co-founder of the Irish Writers Cooperative, wrote Night in Tunisia. Number 16, number 16, the movie that told the story of the author of Dan Burst of Dreams was Under the Eye of the Clock. Number 17, the Sean of Whelan biography about the second Earl of Second Earl of Tyrone was The Great O'Neill. Number eighteen, the second of Roddy Doyle's Barrytown trilogy was the wonderful one called The Snapper. Number nineteen, John Banville's The Untouchable was about number 20 in Paris um, Samuel Beckett lectured in English at the Ecole Normale Supérieure please forgive my pronunciation um, thank you very much <laughs>